Hi, this is Harmano. I want to talk about um, discerning false prophets or not, and the question regarding if uh, Yom Boshoff is uh, Justin Justice Boshoff or um, Final Call 07 is a false prophet or not. Um, I'm not going to make the call. You're going to have to discern that for yourself if he's a false prophet, uh, because. Um, the way I operate is um, if someone says something that is not true then I will expose the falsehood of what is being said and just simply disagree with it and uh, I've only done like one or two videos I think that talked about him and one of them was really hesitant to even call him a call out his name or call him a false prophet in fact, I think this is the first video that I've actually mentioned him by name specifically. I might have briefly mentioned him or something like that, but um, but um, uh, you shouldn't say someone has a demon in them because I could like have the Holy Spirit in me, and I could make a mistake or think I have a prophecy like you know just have some dream maybe eat too much pizza or something like you know I don't know and come up with some strange thing you know I try not to do that I try to keep everything very simple you know but if I happen to do that um, I might say something that's not true and then someone else can say yeah I've got a demon and then that would mean all the testimony of what I have said, all my witness of Jesus Christ is blasphemed, and the Holy Spirit in me is blasphemed. So I wouldn't do that. I'd be careful to do that. Um, but I tell you this if anybody speaks a lie, it's not of God, right? Because the Holy Spirit's the Spirit of truth. And if any man has a pattern of lying and says that they're a prophet of God, and they prophesying in uh, the prophecies a lie, then I'm not convinced personally that that that's of God, and I and I suggest a prop uh, that's a false prophet. But I haven't looked into the matter enough to make a call on you know if Final Call 07 is a, a false prophet. I ha I simply um, rebuke uh, false doctrines out there and those that preach it. You know, and I call them out by name. You know, say, "Hey, so I don't really like, not really much in the business of doing that." I, I'm sorry to keep saying I, I, I. You know, it's not about me, but what I'm trying to do is just show how um, you can still expose false doctrines by just false t uh, prophets by just exposing the false doctrines that, that they say. And um, he certainly it would be in the category of a holiness preacher. Uh, teaching that without holiness we cannot enter the kingdom of heaven, and I agree with that doctrine that he teaches. Um, and um, but uh, I watched um, a, one of his, a channel that had featured his, his videos, and all the videos were of the type the, the called the so-called Bible bashing videos. And and um, I mean, there's an element of truth in what he's saying, but it doesn't have the fruit of peace. It doesn't have the fruit. Where's the fruit? Um, saying the Bible is poison when the Bible has the words about Jesus Christ in it, that's blasphemy. Saying that the Bible, you know, Bible witchcraft for a room title, that, that either means he's just not discerning and he's just tr really interested in getting a lot of people to watch his videos just to be controversial or whatever or he's there's something wrong with him now another guy said I was just watching a video uh, and another guy said that if if he believes in the Holy Spirit and he has the Holy Spirit in him and uh, that doesn't mean anything the Holy Spirit proclaims Jesus is Lord just saying that I believe in the Holy Spirit doesn't mean that you have the Holy Spirit you know but anyway, he was saying that uh, he, uh, if he has the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will guide him into all truth. 
that's not true. You can still have the Holy Spirit. I mean, it's true that the Holy Spirit will guide you into all truth, but you can grieve the Spirit. You can have the Holy Spirit and still cling to error. Uh, if that were true, then um, the the carnal Corinthians, you know, that were babes in Christ, who were fornicating and 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 doing all kinds of sinful things, they were um, they they had the Holy Spirit and it, they needed Paul to teach them that Paul taught them things. So we do we don't need a teacher in the sense that yes we do have the holy spirit teaching us but we need people to remind us us of the truth and exhort one another that's what the body of christ is for and we can't just assume that that god's going to train us without the bible because that that would be like god giving you it's sort of like this i watched this one uh, movie uh i saw this one movie it was about the Moses and all that. And, and there's a good scene that had a good point in it, some good wisdom in it. There's this guy who said, I have a lot of faith. And he's sitting cross-legged on the ground saying, I have faith that God is going to win this battle for me. But he did not get up and take up his sword and fight the battle. He just sat there and said, I trust that God's going to do it. See, God's given us equipment. And it takes faith to take his equipment and use it. And so he's given us the resources that we need for salvation. He's given us the Bible. He's given us other Christians. He's given us the Holy Spirit. He's given us all these different things. But if you just sit there and say, all I need is just this one thing, you're like that guy that's cross-legged sitting on the ground going, that's all I need is this, when God has given you these other tools. And But the idea that somehow the Holy Spirit is going to guide um, uh, Final Call 07 to the truth somehow, that he trusts that the Holy Spirit will judge him the truth. That is very, I don't understand that. It's like, if somebody doesn't love the truth, they will never receive the truth. Even if they have the Holy Spirit, they have to re listen to the Holy Spirit. Uh, there are many Christians out there, I believe they have the Holy Spirit. Because I had the Holy Spirit too, but I didn't listen. And uh, I just don't believe that. It's like some kind of eternal security once saved, always saved type of thing that says that somebody can go out and slay a bunch of people and make a bunch of false prophecies and teach all kinds of false doctrines, but eventually the Holy Spirit will correct them and they'll go back into the right path. That, that's not true. There are many that will fall away from the faith that will teach all kinds of strange doctrines, and Jesus warned that there'll be prophets in the end time that have false prophecies. And... Uh, um, I, I haven't really researched this fully, but uh, I've just talked to a couple of the followers of, of him, and they are, they act like they're in a cult. As soon as you mention him in any kind of a negative light, like you're trying to find out what they think of him, they, they, they just act like you're just, touch not thine anointed, you know, that kind of attitude. And that's, this uh, this other guy was like that, you know. Don't, oh, if you say that he's got a demon or whatever, then you're blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Well, I mean, I, I think that's good good advice, you know, not to do that. However, there, he's not speaking the truth and he's lying. That's not of God. Those lies are not of God. And, and it's no small error that he's teaching. How could Bible poison be a small error? That's a huge error. Can't you see? Open up your eyes and see how stinky that, that is, how messed up that is to say those kind of things. This is the holy scriptures we're talking about. The Bible calls itself the holy scriptures and um, inspired by God for the reproof and correction of others. If if person does not get reproofed by the holy scriptures, they could go to hell. That means that Without the scripture, a person could not find salvation. So if you call the Bible poison, tell, discourage people from reading it, you're putting a stumbling block in the way from the gospel. And you're preventing, you're putting the, you're getting in the way of salvation. That's a very important thing to understand. So I, I've seen other people like Connie and all those people are really upset about Jan. Let's be level-headed about this. And let's just call it what it is. If it's false doctrine, if you don't believe the prophecy, say you don't believe the prophecy. If you see that he's not bearing fruit and he's bearing bad fruit, explain that. Say, look, this guy is 
evil. He's mean. He's nasty. He hates the Bible. He hates, you know, go ahead and say whatever you want to say, but um, let's just, you know, not um, make wild accusations and stuff like that. It's not necessary. It's not necessary to say somebody has a demon. You know, it reminds me of what Paul said in Second uh, in uh, First Corinthians twelve through fourteen when he's talking about this. It goes in great deal of detail about the spiritual gifts and how we should be in order in the church. You know, there should be order in the church and all that stuff. And Paul said, Paul said, um, uh, he said that you know there should be a certain order and stuff like that. He it may very well be that Paul believed that many of those people were that were babbling in tongues and all these other things that were out of order, you know, they're doing all these things that are out of order. He may have actually believed that there's some kind of a spiritual darkness behind that. Because how can, you know, the Spirit is, or, the Holy Spirit's orderly and, and peace, the Spirit of peace. If so, if there's not peace, then it might not be from the Spirit, you know. But Paul didn't dare even say that. And there's another verse that talks about, um, speaking evil of dignities of which they don't know not and 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 the um they dare the angels dared not accuse um the a other dick angels or whatever of taking the body of moses you know they just said may the lord rebuke you so we just you know we should just say may the lord rebuke you for for doing those things you know you're teaching false doctrine or i mean you know just expose the false doctrine don't accuse them of being you know, don't step too far over the bounds just for the sake of of just making exalting yourself. You know, uh, it just keep it simple. You know, I'm leery of his teachings, and 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 I don't like to listen to hours and hours of false teachers. So I don't want to research every video he's done. I waited and I waited. I watched a ton of his videos. Too many of them. And I didn't really see anything extremely wrong with him, but then I saw one page that had nothing but his Bible bashing, so-called Bible bashing videos. And I said, look at these titles. Look at the titles of the videos. That was enough. I mean, if, I'm, if I can't see that that is not right, then there's something wrong with me. Bible poison, Bible witchcraft, Bible idolatry or whatever, you know, all this stuff that they say. And then there's these other people that say the Bible's the mark of the beast and all that. If you can't discern that, I mean, what's what's going on, folks? It should be really easy to understand that there's something wrong with his teaching. And so I can't receive that kind of teaching because the Bible is the Holy Scriptures. And I can't say that. You know, it says in the Bible that no, the Spirit of God cannot say that Jesus is accursed. The Spirit of God cannot say, nobody by the Spirit can somebody say, uh, you know, that deny Jesus is Lord, you know. So, um so um, that's really, um, if they t speak falsehood, then that's not of God. If they speak the truth, then maybe that's of God. You know, that's what I got to say. Uh, I don't know how far it's gone. I haven't watched enough videos to know how far. It gives me the chills to see that kind of stuff he's saying. Uh, and, and I know people are taking, you know, what he's saying out of context in some videos, you know, just taking the snippets of the bad part. But that's, if they're able to do that and take those snippets of the bad parts that easily, if it's that easily to find that much garbage on somebody, then don't listen to them. You know, if you can go through and find a bunch of snippets of me bashing Jesus and all that stuff, then don't listen to me. But I don't think you're going to find that easy, you know, bashing the Bible or doing some other, you know, I mean, bashing something. I'm not saying bashing the Bible because I don't. But, you know, I may mean, be saying some other things. You could probably take me out of context on that. But, yeah. Uh, so, you know, you, anybody can take me out of context and put a bunch of things together. But I, I, I doubt that you'd be able to find that much junk on me. I don't have that much controversial stuff to say. In fact, I don't have much controversial people attacking me or anything. Because I think what I'm saying is just very, you know, run-of-the-mill stuff. I mean, it's the world's really messed up. So I mean, what I'm saying is, um, is is sticks out, you know, amongst the people. But I'm not. My videos don't have content that is inflammatory like that very often, you know. So I gotta go. Someone has some questions for me. So catch you later. Just keep reading the Bible.